Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Eddie Harvey from TradeWithEd.com. So I want to talk to you all today about the, uh, the most volatile Forex pairs. Um, not going to be long, guys, and just because there are not a lot of them that uh, move the way these few pairs move. Uh, you got some Forex pairs that move pretty smooth. You got some that are slow as hell. <laughs> then you got others that are just uh, unpredictable, moving fast, change direction at the drop of a dime, hence the word volatility, they're very volatile. And that could be a, a, a good or a bad thing in a sense of if you know, um, I'm not going to say even bad, it's a, it's a good thing, but uh, when you know what you're doing, it can turn into a bad situation if you don't know what you're doing. So <clears throat> I suggest if you do not have a set strategy, strategy if, you're not, uh, if you're new to trading Forex, uh, if you're going to trade these pairs, guys, trade them with caution uh, because it can be good for you. But at the same time, it can turn out to be uh, somewhat of a nightmare where you may be kicking yourself, especially if you're not following uh, the rules of Forex. Per, uh, what do I mean by that? Uh, if you're not using a stop loss, if you're if you're over leveraged, uh, things can turn out bad when you're when you're messing around with a pair that's very volatile. So. Uh, prime example being, guys, last year when I this was a year ago uh, when I was you know still being a knucklehead, and not following all the rules of trading, and and um, and just uh, not using a stop loss. I was in uh, which is one of the most volatile pairs is GBP JPY. Uh, I was in that pair and um, I was doing good. I was up and uh, I wasn't using a stop loss and I wasn't even trailing my my, my profits right. So I have forgot. I think I have got to set a, a, a stop profit. Man, I looked up. I promise within two hours, that pair had uh, decided to uh, change directions. <laughs> so it went from a buy to a sell. Um, the trend changed and it dropped 200 pips in like a two hour time span. So now maybe obviously it was some news or something that affected it, but that was crazy. That doesn't always happen, but you know, within a day or so, it can move like that. But it was like a couple of hours and make a long story short, but I, short, I ended up uh, losing like 75% of my account on that one trade. And uh, that taught me a lesson. And I started using stop loss and, you know, was very mindful. I left GJ alone for a while. You know, it humbled me. But uh, that's what the Forex market can do to you. So, you know, so when you look at what are the pairs that are definitely going to move with a lot of volatility, GBP, JPY is one, but the most volatile pair, guys, uh, is GBP, NZD, which is the Great Britain Pound versus New Zealand Dollar. Okay, the the the, the, uh, the Pound pairs are definitely, most of them are very volatile. So you have GBP, NZD, you have GBP, AUD, uh, you have GBP, JPY, those three, and GBP, CAD uh, moves well, and, and GBP, US, obviously all of the, the Pound pairs, Definitely have a lot of volatility with, I would say, GBP uh, CAD and, and uh, GBP USD um, not moving as volatile as uh, GBP NZD, GBP uh, AUD, and GBP JPY, of course. And also, uh, Euro USD definitely moves with volatility as well. That's like my favorite pair. I, all of them are my favorite pairs now. I used to just specifically trade Euro USD all the time. Uh, but I've opened my 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 range up and I'm and I'm trading everything uh, where I see a setup. I mark up my charts and where do I where I see a setup for me to take a, a, a trade. I pick the best setup based on my trading analysis and strategy. Uh, so there you have it. Those are the pairs, guys. When you look at that, are the most volatile: GBP, NZD, GBP, AUD, GBP, JPY, GBP, USD, GBP, CAD and Euro USD uh, from my experience and from, you know, definitely uh, from mentors and individuals, those are the pairs that definitely have the most volatility. So uh, they definitely move fast, can be unpredictable and, and change to drop of a dime. But the bright side of that, in that time span, you can catch a hell of a lot of pips. So uh, go in with strategy, know what you're doing and, and you will definitely can, can um, I will say, uh, what is the right word? Handle those pairs pretty much uh, and, and and tame them. That's what the word I'm looking for, guys. So listen, with that being said, guys, if you don't have a set strategy, if you don't know exactly what you want to do, you know you want to catch some pips, you want to get into the market, but you don't know exactly what it is you're doing. You're just out there. If you need strategy guidance in order to handle these volatile pips, uh, pairs or any of the other pairs, 
Uh, if you want to learn more about the platform that I'm utilizing to trade, simply go to tradewithed.com for more information to find out more about the platform, who they are, what they do, what they have their hands on, how you can learn Forex and earn in the Forex markets at the same time, guys, uh, utilizing tools that will help you while you learn how to trade independently. All right. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you all got some value from this. If so, hit the like button for me. Want to hear more from me, subscribe to my channel, guys. And if you want to know when I go live with fresh content, hit the bell button above and you will be notified. So I appreciate you guys for watching. I will talk to you all later. Have an amazing day.